guys, today I'm going to do for you kind of a haul slash um, get ready with me hybrid. Um, I was contacted by Cosmetics Fairy a little while ago uh, and they asked me to pick £10 worth of products to showcase in a blog post um, which is sponsored and that's completely separate to this video um, basically to show how much you can get for £10 from Cosmetics Fairy. But when they said £10 worth of products I couldn't help but think I could potentially get a full face of makeup out of that. So I did my best um, and I kind of purchase the products with a video in mind. So although everything comes from Cosmetics Fairy or there or thereabouts, I had to switch out some stuff because some of the stuff that arrived wasn't quite right and I'm pretty sure I ordered an eyebrow pencil that didn't arrive but I'll show you those things in a second. Um, but yeah, although everything pretty much comes from there, it's not a sponsored video, I just want to kind of put that out there. Um, I would always tell you if a video is sponsored and this one isn't. I just kind of tried to kind of tie in the products that I got so that I knew that I could show you um, another £10 face of makeup. So I'm hoping, I've not tried any of these before, I'm hoping I've picked pretty well. Um, I'm going to qu quickly show you the products that I'm not going to use in the video. First of all, um, I got this Outdoor Girl Cosmetics Pressed Face Powder. Um, and it's really difficult to choose foundation products online because obviously you're not sure what colour they're going to be. This colour is translucent, so I thought that was a pretty safe bet. Uh, this is the furthest from translucent ever. Look at it anyway, it's kind of tan, right? Well, it's bronze. I don't know if you can see that on my finger, but not only is it bronze, it's like golden. If it, the camera is picking up any shimmer, uh, please excuse my chipped nail polish. It was either paint my nails or make a video, and I knew which one I would rather do. Um, but yeah, this is insane. So clearly not pressed powder, not well, not translucent powder, it's a bronzer to me. So I may use this, but I won't be using it for the purpose that I bought it. Um, and the other thing I'm not using is this, but I'm desperate to try this. I've swatched some of the colours and they look really great. Uh, Colour Cosmetics Eyeshadow Compact, and it's an 18 compact, 18 piece eyeshadow compact. I think this was like £1.50 or something insane. You can get them from eBay. Um, I was kind of looking at them online before I ordered this to see how great they were and they seem to be pretty good. So uh, if I can come up with something, I will probably do a separate video with some eye looks from this because this is insanely low cost. Um, really, really good value for money if it's worth having. So expect something follow up on that. But I did buy that with this video in mind and then what ended up coming, I feel like I'm going to do a more basic look. So the products that I'm going to use uh, are the L'Oreal Perfect Match Concealer, which I'm hoping is a decent colour. The colour I have is Ivory. I couldn't find a foundation on the website that was pale enough for me, or that I thought was going to be pale enough for me. So I'm just going to be doing concealer. Um, then something I've switched in, because the pressed powder I ordered wasn't right, uh, is the e.l.f. Tone Correcting Powder, which I believe is £3.50, which is kind of getting up there. I know the concealer was one of the more expensive things, so I'm hoping this still comes in at under £10. Um, an eyebrow pencil because the other one didn't arrive. This one is the NYC Coll Brow Slash Eyeliner Pencil in Taupe. Now I've just written a review of this, I don't know if it'll be up before this video, but um, not a big fan of this at all. So many people have told me I need to try this and it's a Coll pencil and it's a brow slash eyeliner. It is insane to me that those two products were ever multitasking. Completely madness. Um, but yeah, it's way too kind of soft for it to be a brow pencil. If you're very, very careful with it, which I intend to be, um, you can get an okay look with it, but it's it's nothing like a brow pencil that I would wanna use. I'll probably use this more as an eyeliner. I may even use it as an eyeliner in this look, we'll see. But I'm gonna be using that as my brow pencil, purely because it's super cheap. Um, and you can work with it, you know, if you've got a very, very limited budget, then you make things work for you. But I know that there are other things that I'm willing to spend more on um, that will work a lot easier, or will make it a lot easier for me. Um, the next thing I have is the, it's a CC UK, is this Constance Carol? I think that it is. Uh, it's a brown liquid liner. I also got the blue one, they're both called Quick Stroke Eyeliners. The brown one looks really great, just from swatching it on my hand, the brown one looks really good, the blue one looks awful. And the reason that I'm not using that colour palette is because I was going to use it with this blue eyeliner, um, but it just turned out to be not so great. So now I'm just going to do um, kind of bare lids and a brown liner. Um, I have this mascara, which is Maybelline, I don't even know what this is called because it's all in French. Whether or not it was always in French and this is just the name of it, it looks like, I'm going to butcher this, Longueur Pulpuse. No idea. Anyone else know what this is called? But that is what it sounds like. Um, it's like lengthening and volumizing. it looks like. And this is also brown, so it'll go nicely with the eyeliner. Uh, I have a blush, which is Collection 2000. 
uh, and it is collection 2000 because it's an old packaging and it's in nude. And the last thing is a lipstick from L'Oreal um, and this is in Unending Kiss. And that is that. And if it doesn't come to under £10, there or thereabouts, like as close as I need it to be, this is there or thereabouts under £10. But I will list everything below and kind of prices as we go. So I'm going to kind of whiz through the actual makeup application now. Um, and then I'll do you kind of like a little um, ending with uh, how, what I thought of everything and how things worked. So that's it, that is my full face of makeup and I'm actually really happy with it. Um, I must admit the concealer was a bit touch and go, I was like oh my god this is so opaque, um, a little bit too yellow toned and super pale but blending it out it was okay and then I ended up using my foundation blush to kind of blush? foundation brush to kind of blend it a little bit further more than my fingers could do uh, and it seemed to be okay. Obviously the e.l.f. powder is pretty good, uh, fairly standard as powders go but nice for the money. Um, the eyeliner I was really really impressed with. Um, opacity wise it wasn't the best applicator, the applicator is very very firm if you like a felt tip applicator you might like that, I prefer something with a little bit more flexibility but again for the money really really good um, and hopefully it won't flake off, we shall see, I can't review it because I can't, I've never used it before um, but on, on first impressions I'm pretty impressed eyebrows like I say don't like that eyebrow pencil but if you've got a very very limited budget you get a lot of product for the money and if you're willing to potentially have to take your eyebrows off and start all over again or if your hair is just darker I would say you, you need the taupe one even if you've got very very dark hair unless it's kind of like black um, because it, you can definitely get a super dark look with that by accident so if you're very very blonde you may want to stay clear of it because um, I have a heavy hand and I mean this is kind of my my roots colour but if I'd had my roots done and I was a lot blonder again then it may not look so great um, the blush, again, very, very nice, basic colour, not too pigmented, which I like because I am heavy handed, I like to be able to build it up, I liked that. And the lipstick was insane, love that, I love L'Oreal lipsticks anyway, it was just a really good deal. Um, and I'll definitely be going back and buying whatever other colours they have in that lipstick uh, from the website because I, I absolutely loved that, it felt really, really nice on my lips. It's the Infallible range, I believe, I don't even know if they still make these in this packaging. Um, but probably not, that's probably why they've got them, but I really liked that. And lastly, the mascara. No idea what this is actually supposed to be called. This is kind of, this, I recognise this, it kind of, was it like stiletto or something that came in this? I don't know, in the English packaging. Um, but I would definitely purchase this, I really like it, and I'm very fussy when it comes to mascara, so I didn't think I was going to like the mascara. But it turns out that I do. So yeah, overall, I'm really, really happy with it. I did just quickly want to mention um, the kind of old cosmetics thing because it has been a bit of a thing in the beauty community when you buy things from kind of Poundland or discounted makeup outlets. Uh, some of the products might not be brand new. They are brand new to you, you know, they're, they're sealed, unused, but they may not have been used um, or created, sorry, they may not have been kind of produced recently. They may be a few years old, they may have been lying around in a warehouse somewhere. That might be a problem for some of you. I really don't care. I open my products and use them and will have them for years and years and years and potentially use them again. Um, so I'm not particularly worried about expiration dates. If you are, it's something to consider when you're buying from discount outlets. Um, that potentially it's not going to be a recently produced product. I mean, for example, something like this, that packaging hasn't been around for quite a long time, so you know, you just need to go in kind of with your eyes open that this is probably um, something that, that might be a little bit old. I don't care about that, I, I couldn't care less. Most of the powder products and things can't even have any kind of germs in it, they can't kind of carry anything on them anyway and you could disinfect them quite easily if you wanted to if it was an issue but I just kind of wanted to mention that quickly because obviously most of this stuff I did get from um, a discount website 
But for those of you that don't care, there are loads and loads of things on there um, that are worth looking at. And um, if, it, if I hadn't been specifically looking for a full face of makeup, I would have been, oh my god, nail polishes and lipsticks. It would have just been all nail polishes and lipsticks that I would have bought with my £10. But yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this mini video. Let me know if you'd like to see more kind of budget face videos and I'll do some more for you because they're really fun and it makes me kind of challenge myself a little bit. I liked this because although it was from one website, all the brands were different. Um, but obviously they're not going to be as readily available because most of the stuff's probably discontinued. Um, so I might do something um, kind of more current with stuff I can actually buy from the drugstore. So let me know if you'd be interested in that. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!